So guys, I finally made it to the Bahamas. I missed my last trip, but I made sure I was able to come here and we brought our lovely friends with us. That's right. So you're gonna see a lot of them fishing. Mm -hmm. And for those of you that are new, my name is Clay. This is my wife, Stephanie. And as she mentioned, we're in the Bahamas. I am so excited. Had kind of a rough crossing on the way over here, but hey, it's all part of it. As soon as we got close to the island, things just calmed down and it is just the perfect recipe right now to get in the water. So first thing we're gonna do, what do you say? Catch some comp? Sound good? No. Catch some conch so we can do some conch ceviche later on. And then after that, what do you say? Some bottom fishing? Sounds good. Let's Perfect. do it. So let's do it. Come on. I'm a behemoth from the Bahamas. It's the place you vacation. Slam down the door every occasion. If I did it over, I wouldn't change it. Cause this is what I love. Oh, 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 oh. finally got out here to the comp grounds, so to speak. We got Austin, Kyle, and Jake in the water right now. They're dragging behind the boat because as we mentioned earlier, we want to do some conch ceviche. So that way we have a little snack when we're out there bottom fishing. So we're doing a technique right now called dragging. Basically, we just have two ropes off the back of the boat. We're going at about two miles an hour. Basically, what I'm just trying to do is I'm just trying to pull them over a grassy area, which is where these conch live. So, once we get into a good area, hopefully they all kind of congregate together and we can pick off a couple real quick. We're not allowed to keep them in the Keys, so it's more than right to get in the water once you get in the Bahamas, so that way we can get some fresh Bahamian conch. about these are the conks we want to keep we're good to go oh yeah so that's what's so cool about the bahamas guys Here's is the, the waters are just so rich with these conks and in the midst of dragging they actually just found a wreck so i'm going to give jake this pole spear said he saw a big cabara down there so let's see if he could spear one real quick so the cabara got locked up inside of the wreck but as you can see landon speared a lionfish which is probably 10 times better than a Kubera. These are comparable to hogfish, which are probably some of the best eating fish in the ocean. So what's so cool about these fish specifically, they're actually venomous. If you can see all those spines on top are filled with venom. So if you get pricked by one of those, I can promise you it'll ruin your Bahamas trip. So that's why I'm wearing some gloves. And in addition to that, they're an invasive species. So we're actually doing good by removing this fish from Bahamian waters but we're gonna throw them on ice with the conks and we're gonna throw them in the ceviche and I can promise you, this is probably one of the best tasting fish that swims in the ocean. boat is absolutely surrounded by sharks and stingrays right now and us crazy people are swimming with them right here but that's what's so cool and that's what we wanted to show you guys they're actually really really friendly you don't have to worry about them biting you but first things first we're going to bring the conch up on the beach we're going to clean them up so we can make our conch ceviche i think these rays want some conch they're hungry crazy how these rays, they literally associate humans and boats with food. They're trained. They stay here all the time. No matter when you come to Honeymoon Harbor, these sharks and stingrays are always here. So 
you guys can see right here, Kyle, what he did is he made a little, I guess, hole slit. or yeah, slit inside of the shell here. And there's a little claw that hangs onto the shell. So what he's trying to do is knock that loose so that way he can release the actual comp from the shell. So what you got going on there, Mrs. Cowart? I'm cutting up our conch so I can throw it into my pre-made ceviche. Whoa! Oh, and we almost, almost just lost missed. it. Yeah. So I'm just gonna throw my chopped pieces in there and let it cook. Tell you what, this ain't a kitchen, but I don't think anybody at home is complaining. <laughs> this is absolutely unreal, guys. It is such a blessing that we get to come here and experience things like this. And of course, have all of you watching. Would not be the same without all of you guys watching. All you gotta do, stick some conch in the water and they'll come right up and eat it. Okay. Smell it. Oh, I got one over here. Out, wrong place. Woo! You got it. <laughs> We're like sucking onto my leg. Woo! Oh, they nip at you? Oh yeah. They got they got some chompers. But you got to be quicker than they are. Kyle, the stingray whisperer. <laughs> Does this make you nervous, Austin? Austin says no, so you guys write down in the comments below. You tell me if this will make you nervous or not. Eat them. I'm not gonna lie, the first time I ever did this, it was very nerve wracking, but you get used to it after a while. You can see they just come right by your feet. Let me put this in my pocket, hold on. Obviously don't want to upset them. right now we just showed up through anchor and as you can see the bottom is just lit so here we are let's see how good it is I think I got a mutton what makes you think like that it looks like a mutton <laughs> <laughs> been catching strawberry groupers we've been catching trigger fish I got a mackerel that got shark got the leader somebody come hand line him get him Austin what we got? Moment of truth. Mutton! Mutton, baby! Oh my, oh my god! god. He god got shark. I swore I saw something big and long down there, and sure oh enough. Oh my god! Okay. Hey, at least I him. caught the first mutton! Look. <laughs> you can still get a little bit little fillet off of him. I'll tell you what. As bad as that sucks, I gotta say. We'll get some of this meat off of him. But hey, good job. Oh yeah. It's a Woo. mutton, it's what we Half came for. <laughs> we have a boat with five men, and unfortunately the woman is the only one that can catch the fish. And she caught a dolphin on the way over oh here too. God, that's a very nice mutton. Get him, Stephanie. She's trying to crank them up as fast as possible because you guys saw that last fish that just got shark. I think it was a cuda, actually. There's a weight. Get him, Eric. Oh, man. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Concussion. Mutton, baby. Woo! Oh, you 
kidding me, dude? Wow. That's sad. It's part of it, though. That's fishing. So mutton fishing did not go as planned. Um, we had really high hopes that the fishing was going to be really, really good because mutton snapper, they spawn on the full moon in May. But for some reason, they weren't chewing the way we expected them to. But as I mentioned earlier in the video, we caught some mahi on the way over here. In addition to our conch and our line fish and everything else, we're gonna take this back to the house here in Bimini and we are gonna cook him up. So here it is. This is what it's all about right here, guys. Obviously, fresh fish, got some burgers to go with it. You know, that's a huge, huge thing we love about boating and coming over to the Bahamas and just fishing in general because it's a great opportunity to get a bunch of great guys together, of course, my wife. So thank you guys for coming, obviously. Thanks for thank you, us. of course. Thank you. Landon, thanks for filming everything. His YouTube channel is down in the uh, video description below. Anything you want to add? Well, we hope you enjoyed it, mm -hmm. and we'll see you guys next time. That's right. So we'll see you guys next week. An unreal day and an unreal meal. We'll see you guys. Thanks so much.